is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I'll be talking about how water enters into the Earth's atmosphere. The atmosphere acts as the superhighway that transports water throughout the globe, and it contains about 13 trillion metric tons of water at any one time. That may sound like a lot, but if it were to all come out of the atmosphere under the surface of the Earth, it would cover the Earth about an inch deep. And as a matter of fact, it's only one one thousandth of one percent of the total water on the Earth. The main sources of water in the atmosphere come from evaporation. This is water which is evaporating from oceans, seas, lakes, streams, uh, any body of water. That's 90% of the uh, Earth's atmosphere. 10% uh, comes from transpiration. This is the water that uh, plants give off uh, when they do their, go through their chemical processes. Also, uh, when I breathe, I contribute a little bit of water into the atmosphere. As a matter of fact, a large oak tree transpires about 40,000 gallons of water per year. The other processes that contribute water to the Earth's atmosphere, sublimation, this is when ice or snow is converted directly into uh, water vapor without going through the process of melting, and steam from volcanoes or from geysers. These are negligible sources of water. Uh, the principal sources are evaporation and transpiration. So these are the ways that water enters into the Earth's atmosphere. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you. Thank you.